today I felt hmm it's time for another watercolor inspiration uh, and what we're gonna paint today hmm, maybe I'm gonna surprise you we are gonna do some tree how to paint a tree but with a twist I'm not a watercolor artist uh, to visualize and show you the real looking <laughs> tree because I, I'm gonna show you how to paint whimsical uh, kind of um, more or less uh, more or less magical tree that I hope everyone is able to achieve so we are gonna have some uh, not so realistic looking tree but I hope it's gonna be equally pretty we are starting off with painting as you can see and I'm using very delicate paints for now we are gonna paint circles bulbs bubbles however you wish to name that <clears throat> and I'm gonna use all sorts of sets today. I'm not uh, concentrating on any other, on any uh, set. Oh, on the last video I called this set China set and use, which is true because I, this is where I bought it on eBay, but many, many, many of you, thank you so much for your comments, have said that actually you can get the same exactly set in Michael's in the US. Uh, also Amazon. For the a pretty good price so yes head off there if you wish for now I'm gonna clean off my excess of my paint as you can see a little bit that way I'm creating this kind of uh, bubbly effect can you see and I'm cleaning off <coughs> cleaning off here on the on the on the on next door I have a tissue now I, I believe so <laughs> there are some technique for it but I'm just kind of trying to improvise a, a little bit um, with it so if there is any specific color to do so to do kind of painting bubble like that maybe there is some certain name for for that technique for now what I'm doing basically I'm concentrating on adding some color <clears throat> and when I'm happy with the shape and color and all I am basically uh, cleaning off excess from water. I'm not using too much water, too much paint. As you can see, I'm just dipping and or oh, maybe I'll show you like this. I'm cleaning, clearing off as well. Like when I dip it, I'm the excess I'm pushing down, so I don't want too much of the <clears throat> too much of the paint either. Oh, maybe that's not that's too little paint. Uh, that's too little water. So this is what we have for now. Now I'm cleaning off. And I'm gonna take the excess from my bubble here right now as you can see so excess of water and excess of excess of paint as well so I have this shadowy not shadowy it's like this uh, yeah a light effect easy I hope can you see it's very much simple very very simple <clears throat> basically and I'm using as you can tell all sorts of colors right now I like that set I have to say it's really 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 beautiful set with stunning stunning absolutely stunning colors so <clears throat> and I'm just trying to <laughs> have all the colors of the rainbow here <laughs> on my on my project right now so every single uh, every single uh, uh, bubble is different color <laughs> basically oh that's a gorgeous color I've used it on the other project didn't I on the collage I think <clears throat> mm -hmm. the collage where I added the where I was doing the flowers journal collage process oh, stunning color oh my I'm very much <laughs> confused which colors <clears throat> I've used, which I didn't, but that's okay. Now, <clears throat> excuse my voice again. I keep on excusing you, but uh, it is what it is. <clears throat> I have this uh, morning, a morning, uh, it's not only even morning, I just still have trouble with my throat and nose. <clears throat> Now I hope that right now what you're doing is not only looking here at my page but you actually have your brush in your hand any watercolors whether they cost you 
10 dollars or 30 or 90 dollars you are painting with me because otherwise you're not gonna learn anything by looking at it so please grab some brush I do have watercolor brushes I'll tell you the names because sometimes you're asking me I got them from rain got me got them for me those are Soho urban artists <clears throat> those are got myself they are Windsor and Newton do I see a difference not yet I'm not really <clears throat> I'm not really mm. I just don't understand the watercolors yet too much to see the difference between the brushes maybe if I'll have some super expensive brush maybe I would if I can afford it and if I can <laughs> if I'll find it I'll I'll may I may get it so I'm adding a shadow as you can see and you can tell by my tissue I have it here so um I'm trying to kind of concentrate on the shape be kind of like this shape like that uh, another color maybe orange we haven't played with orange now the idea of a tree that is uh, a little bit like a whimsical tree made from circles I have seen somewhere online most definitely in uh, on the Pinterest I have seen it somewhere so um, if you if you think that oh I've seen it I've seen it before probably yes probably you have Oh, I have a different set here maybe probably you have because I've watched it uh, somewhere as well as a watercolor inspiration I've seen trees made from circle -ish. different though but some something like this <laughs> some something along those lines so yeah <clears throat> maybe here maybe here I like that I actually think it's gonna be like a rainbow tree or like a lo lollipop or like a, what's the word more of um, uh, I have this in the last the last bit of my tongue um, ice cream <laughs> like ice cream kind of feel to it I'm trying to make a shapey shape like that so I'm f heading there to finish off soon in terms of uh, finishing off my design so I'm just checking the colors I'm adding every single color different as you can tell <clears throat> every color should be diff not not should be I just wish every color to be different so if you feel like fancy if you fancy doing the same thing with let's say all sorts of greens shades or all sorts of uh, no brown I don't think so sorry brown no, not today all sorts of shades of greens or blues in one one color but different shades please do so I'm looking forward to your inspirations but now the reason I'm thinking to do this is because many of you really do own watercolors which is amazing but you you really don't don't use them you are so paralyzed to use the watercolors that I hope that them techniques super easy simple achievable techniques will uh, make you willing to try so this is my mission for today for tomorrow for the next day and day after that and day after that <laughs> let's paint let's stop being afraid of watercolors now I haven't taken I didn't take any excess from my paints from my bubbles oops too much water that's okay you can even add water and see what will happen <clears throat> as you can see I'm just trying to clear off even if if you will have like a, like a stain water stainy water that will be there that's fine because it will just create a stainy look which is nice as well as you will see in a minute when things are dry don't wait till the last moment because it will be harder to uh, make that stain so you may as well just uh, wait until it's dry a little bit <laughs> I think I wish my 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 tree to be uh, thicker more more um what's the word roundy <laughs> more um fat <laughs> fat I like word fat fatty my fatty my fatty tree I would like this to be more 
uh, yeah I think I've already used that color but that's okay so as you can tell I'm adding a little touches of uh, I'm adding different colors and smaller circles around so so this to be a little more I uh, no, I definitely use this color maybe this one green as well why not oh I like that now I love that now <clears throat> finishes off this green is nicely finishes off <clears throat> of course the tree should not be <laughs> perfect because the, there's no perfect trees uh, well unless it's in our imagination in our dreams like now our tree will be beautiful and perfect and so sweet and smelly <laughs> well I mean nice smell I hope <laughs> I think it will have... Oh, I think this is the same color as this one. Let's change that quickly to a different green. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Maybe... Maybe this green. Yeah. <laughs> a different shade of turquoise, teal or whichever. Maybe this pink will be nice. Oh, that's a Jane Davenport pink. Oh, it's so pretty, 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 pretty. Jane Davenport has new set of... Uh, well, she has the whole collection selection of... Of her new new uh, products which I'm crazy about I cannot wait to get my hands on but since they are so sold in US of course it's much harder for us European uh, people crafters to get hands on them so I hope that someone will help me and get me them them things here and she has a new set of watercolors which is stunning 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 so yeah waiting for that impatiently impatiently if if Jane could hear me <laughs> Please, Jane, hear us here in in uh, Europe. <laughs> we need your we need your uh, products faster than in a few weeks or months. <laughs> so yes, I'm looking forward to them so so very much. As you can probably tell, I love her paints. This is her set. I love her paints. Okay, I absolutely adore this tree. I'm nearly there. I feel that I somehow I wish that tree to be more or less um, roundy, perfect. Not perfect, but perfect. I don't know. You know, you have to just feel the... Oops, 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 too much. You just have to feel that it's it's just... <laughs> It's just as it should be, which I'm, I think I'm missing some uh, circles here. Oh, oops, too much, too far. That's okay, Marta, that's okay. Don't stress. It's fine. It's only a bubbly tree. <laughs> uh, so yes, I hope you are doing a tree right now with me. This would be amazing to know that you are doing it. By the way, I have to give you a huge thank you here as I'm painting and talking. You are giving me such a huge amount of comments on YouTube. And some of you are literally on every single uh, video, under every single video. I know the faces. You know what, next time I'm going to say hello to those that I remember that post comment under every single video some of you are even first always to comment <laughs> which is even more crazy and thank you so much you know I, I do read them recently I'm, I got better and better in reading them and uh, acknowledging them because <coughs> uh, maybe this is a nice color set and uh, because I know that you're taking time to write a comment so thank you so much for that I'm not replying to uh, every one of them because no, I can't. But many of you is <laughs> together making conversation in the comment section, so it's good if there are any questions. But I cherish so much your comments and your ideas as well as your... You sometimes do suggest me things or you correct me, which is fabulous. I don't know everything. What's worse, I'll give you... I tell you I am very lazy in terms of reading. For example, I'm buying a new product. Instead of read, whether it's watercolor or based or <laughs> water based or it's permanent or this or that, <laughs> I don't do that. Whatever, I just go with the flow and just use it my own way or test it. I know it's bad, but that's how I kind of exist in this world. I'm so I just like the fact of that you can just experiment and <laughs> and I don't know. I, I I don't always read so. I like when you correct me and you say, did you know that? Da, 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 da. And it's always amazing to know things that I didn't know. Now, as you can see, I am taking away excess 
and I'm gonna bring the camera closer I hope you're able to see it so basically I'm trying to take the excess from the bubble to kind of make a little bit of a brighter spot here and there cleaning my brush in between uh, a little bit mm -hmm. I love that I love that so much this is my ice cream <laughs> It looks like ice cream more than a tree to be very honest, but that's okay. Now we need some sort of um, branches, I'm guessing. If not the branches, we need some sort of something. Something that it will tell us it's a tree. And instead of doing the doodle, I'm gonna actually go with my brush this time. And I will basically paint away with black. Uh, it's not going to be perfect because uh, my hand is going to shake, I'm guessing, but that's okay. So I'm having this uh, super delicate, tiny, detailed Soho brush, number two round. <laughs> Again, I have it from Rain, she, she sent that to me. So this is what I'm going to do now. I will basically try to pretend that we have some sort of branches here and that my bubbles touching each other now maybe better to wait until the paints are dry and your bubbles are dry <laughs> of course I don't wait who will wait not Marta uh, but do wait. I, I'm trying to look which is dry, which is not. Because if they are not going to be dry, they're going to end up. The color will end up in your uh, bubble. So you may not like that. I'm basically learning how to accept mistakes as well as. Um, oh, I didn't do the. I can fix that. I didn't do any sorts of uh, clear off here. Oh, I can do it again nice one it's just it makes the bubble being lighter I think a little bit so even if it's dry you can try to add more water basically and it eh, should work it should work I love that I love that love that fluffy it's so cute now what a perfect project for a beginner for um I wish to say advanced painter <laughs> if any of you advanced watercolors is inspired by this uh, painting then I'm more than happy proud and privileged if that's the case but I would love you to t maybe have now it's gonna be hard because I'm left-handed and things are still wet but I'm gonna do like this I, I would love you to maybe grab the watercolors and paint with your child why not why not just do that you know guys just go with the flow and enjoy join things together however you feel however you fancy you know <laughs> it's a it's a very whimsical tree but you know what I adore this whimsical tree and I'm trying to uh, show you um, since, as I said, I have seen inspirations of uh, them trees with circles, I'm just trying to show you different ways. Because how different can you make a tree from bubbles? But, ooh, we have some, some, some leak. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not sure if I should title my, my, my project tree. I may be ice cream, actually. <laughs> I love that. I love you so much, my tree. It's so beautiful. I'm thinking to maybe add a little bit of something here. What about if we do like, um, I don't know, um, I don't know, some grass? What do you think? What would you do? I wish to hear you now and I can't. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking to maybe do like a grass thing, maybe something like a uh, like a, I don't know, flowery kind of thing. <clears throat> Flowers. I can't do it on that side. <laughs> it's turning page cheating. <laughs> if it's if it is, then sorry, I cheat. <laughs> okay. 
What a beautiful tip. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, maybe I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I don't know, do like a... Like a bit of... A bit of a... Whimsical... <coughs> a grassy, uh, flowery something. <laughs> I don't know, just uh, to do something different. Okay, maybe color it. That would be nice, I think. <clears throat> yes, we will color that. Those little heads. <laughs> Those little heads, we will color them. I think so. I do think so. And let's do that. Maybe, well, any color really, isn't it? Any color will be nice, I be I, I believe. <clears throat> any color will be super pretty. Super pretty. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute now. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. So I'm in the zone of, um, can you see actually, a bit closer, I'm in the zone of uh, purples and kind of, I don't know, dark pinks, you can even mix colors if you want, why not, why not. Now I do, I do wonder, should I really do something else with that tree? Again, I'm going to repeat myself. I wish to hear you. You probably have some idea right now. Uh, I think it can stay as it is. It's perfect as it is. And like your kids and yourself, I promise you, would have so such a ball creating this. I know what it reminds me. The, the video up. The movie up. Oh, now I know. <laughs> You know the, the the older couple that was in the this cartoon and he have been flying with uh, in the with his house, but to fly he had to pump like hundreds thousands of ba ba balloons. This looks like a op now. <laughs> yeah, Marta, there we go. Now we know where's the inspiration from. It look I was looking at it the whole time of playing here and record when I'm recording and I was that that still doesn't look like it's something that I'm thinking that it looks in its vision and now I know. <laughs> okay, we have the whimsical funky something. I I am tempted to actually uh, doodle on it with a, a black uh, pencil or something like that, not pencil, pen. I'm thinking to doodle because I think it could be quite nice as well. So I'm gonna maybe try this and just doodle a little bit. Okay, I do have my super delicate pen. So I'm gonna doodle, can you see? You can't, but the problem is that I'm left-handed. Well, it doesn't matter from the how you barely can see. I'll try to move it my hand a little bit and hold the pen different. So I'm gonna doodle just a little bit. Yeah, some flower. Now this is very, can you see that on the, you can. This is very delicate because it's very tiny, uh, tiny <clears throat> pen. Maybe I'll take a thicker one and will that be nicer? I'm not too sure, but I can try. What about this one? Let's see. Oh, maybe this one actually. I'm still waiting for my new sets because they barely paint, they paint it, they barely draw. No, I think I liked the version of this being more delicate actually. <laughs> I cannot make up my mind today guys. I'm sorry. Now I hope you can see when I'm doing it. I'm trying to hold it <clears throat> further away so you will be able to see. It doesn't matter what you will doodle. Just doodle away, whether it's a flower <clears throat> or leave it as it is. It it's not about this to be perfect or the petals to be stunning. You know, 
it's just for you to rest your arm and try to try to do something. I may just go over it to see whether it's gonna be <clears throat> looking nice when it's go over. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, maybe I need a drink. I have a drink here, so maybe a sip of a drink. Maybe I, I talk too much, which is possible, as you know me. <laughs> But you do like when I talk. I do love talking as well. Many of you says to me, not many, actually very little, but there are some voices where they say, can you talk less? Can you just speed up your videos? And I'm thinking, I have changed this entire way of uh, recording and teaching through YouTube due to what you have said. You said, it's actually so much better to follow you and so on and so on with our own makes plus you do like when I chat and laugh and I'm silly goose so I don't mind anymore I used to be more cautious about feeling like a silly billy but not anymore <laughs> thanks to you obviously because you have given me the permission for being silly or or for my English not to be the most perfect in the world which is which is so nice and um, yeah so uh, what about if we doodle away the circles, the bubbles? We should, don't we? I'm gonna just go over, but I'm not gonna be super precise. I am just gonna be delicate and just outline it, but you know, without really stressing that oh, it's out of line or that's okay. I think this project is such a perfect project for kiddos. Well, not only. Definitely for those who are so afraid of being perfect and also like I would love to do a very realistic looking tree. I hope one day I will teach you to we we, we get there eventually <laughs> together. We will get into painting such a realistic looking things and really um like a very professional looking watercolor paintings, but I I kind of go with what my heart says and my heart says this to me not the realistic looking much plus I think it's so much easier to do this and not feeling failure rather than when you follow someone's professional without having much knowledge about the product and so on and then trying to do waterfall or trying to do the skyline and this and that and very it's just, even if you have the tutorial or video or um, you have the photograph I think it's still so difficult well at least it's for me so I'm trying to put myself into your shoes since we are learning and I think it's so much easier to learn about the product the consistency of paint amount of water being used and so on and so on it's so much easier to do it that way plus I do love the whimsical look and uh, I think this pro this type of project can be r just done by so many other people and especially those who are afraid I'm aiming to those who are afraid and stunned to use the watercolors and you do have so many gorgeous sets more is coming to the market <laughs> you buy new ones and you do nothing with it but at the same time there's so many of you who actually started watercolors thanks to them videos the the exercise start up with watercolors I do love it can you see I think it's so pretty whimsical so simple but at the same time super cute and I think we could leave it at that but if not what else could we doodle what else could be nice as always I like to think that adding my little circles in places and spaces could be just what I need. So I'm gonna just basically go around and adding dots and spots and <laughs> I think will be just a, a blessing for that project. So yes, uh, I would love you to, if you if you make a project inspired by this, I would love to see it. Uh, I always uh, try to try to see this helps me because when I try to see your makes I can see where you struggle or where you don't struggle or where is your most 
favorite project to actually redo with me. So it's it's quite important for me to know what sort of makes made you of what sort of makes of mine made you to create your own and actually grab those watercolors. So I love seeing and hearing from you most definitely. Uh, plus others can learn and benefit from that as well. You know by now probably. I've said it too many times, million times, <laughs> but not everyone is watching the videos every single time I post, so I do repeat what I have to say. Plus also, if you're new to my channel, new, new enough, please have a look on other videos. There's such a choice. Uh, many of you are asking me for certain things that were really recorded earlier, previously, a year ago and they're still valuable videos or they were recorded, let's say, six months ago. There are playlists made on my channel, so have a look at that. I'm going to turn around, why not? <laughs> uh, so have a look at those. I try to give playlists on the bottom of my videos as well, on the description box, or there is some suggested, suggested videos always as well. So have a look, because you may be looking for something that is already there, recorded. Oh, I didn't outline this one. <clears throat> <clears throat> adore and love this little little thing so cute so simple but so me <laughs> how much I love that you know I do believe that one day we are gonna be master of watercolors together I hope so <laughs> master of the watercolors how is that that sounds nice isn't it but you see, you could use that project on a watercolor, well, well, do it on the watercolor paper in a smaller version and this could be a beautiful, perfect, amazing looking um, card, you know, a card with a tree like that. Maybe I'll do a session, easy watercolor paint, easy watercolor uh, cards. How is that? Easy watercolor cards ideas. Fast, easy watercolor cards ideas. Would that be a nice video? Tell me. Let me know. Definitely. Let me know. Please, 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 please. Are we done here, guys? Do you think we are done? Or do I need a white, as always, a tiny bit of white and white dots? That could be so much nicer, isn't it? Now, I have some um, watercolor, well, some acrylic diluted with water. So you could do the same thing and dilute your dilute your white paint with water to make it thick and nice and white and you can kind of stamp it away I have this tool I have no idea the name of that tool but this is for hmm, for making like going like this with with it I don't know the name but when you do handmade flowers uh, it's used oftentimes. So, what's the name of that thing? Gosh, you know what? I don't even know the name in Polish. <laughs> That's worse. That's definitely worse. Not knowing the name in Polish. So, how can I guess that in English? By the way, many times when I think, well, most of the time I think in English, uh, and it's so much harder for me to come up with Polish names. Like sometimes I'm asked, can you do Polish videos in Polish? This would be disaster if I think that my English is not that great. <laughs> well, definitely videos in Polish would be a disaster because I have no idea of naming certain things in Polish. Like literally, this is actually so bad to say because certain terms, I'm so used to them in English that just doing them in Polish, no, that's, I don't know the terms, I just, I would know, if I read them, I would know how to read it perfectly, because I'm, this is my home language, but I, I just don't use those terms, so, so I don't even know the, those, um, from head, it would be very hard to speak in Polish, definitely. <laughs> okay, I have more of my paint, 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 oh, what about, oh, that's cute, now, can you see, you can. That's cute. <clears throat> so I'm going over with my dots here and there, there and here, and that way 
It's cute and I love it. Love it. So this is our whimsical tree. And friends, if you think, only if you think that, if you really, really like that video, like, like it or loving it or you think it's fun, not me, the video. If, it's, if you think that um, the idea is cute, please share this video with your friends. By sharing this video, you helping others to reach the video, to see it, and you helping me to be able to inspire more people. Simple as that. But, please don't share it if you don't like it. Okay? Or, if you don't like it, please don't be afraid to hit the the, the, the dislike button like down there. It's okay. I don't mind them. I really don't mind them. I learn from them. If I see there's loads of minuses like that, then I'm thinking, hmm, maybe I did something wrong. So I'm not afraid of being cri crit criticized, so that's okay. So last touch, I think, on those tiny flowers here. Uh, those are so cute, cute, cute. And I think we are done and dusted here, basically. <clears throat> I think we are. I think we really are. So, as always, Marta, I wish to thank you so much. I'm gonna get, get up, because I was sitting for a change. <laughs> I wish to thank you so much. I really hope you found it inspirational and fun. And I hope you enjoyed it uh, as much as I did enjoy. I'm sure there's more videos like that coming. Let me know what you think about the idea of easy, fast, beginners, watercolors, cards ideas. Would that be something for you? Would that be nice, you think? Uh, um, yes, until the next time, I guess, we will see each other pretty soon, I hope. Uh, soon Christmas. Are we ready for Christmas? I'm not too sure if I'm ready for Christmas yet to make Christmas inspirations, but possibly. Uh, oh, look, I didn't do the dots in there. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I didn't see you guys. I didn't see you guys. How is that possible? How is that even possible? <laughs> so yes, thank you so much as always for watching, for your comments, for sharing, tagging me, for hitting the the like button, hitting the dislike button. They all important and I'm happy to see them all. Let me know what you think about this whimsical tree. And I'll chat to you super, 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 super soon. Bye. Bye-bye. I love you.